God says you start to see his hands working in all areas of your life. He knows what you're going through, and he will never fail you. So have faith and type Amen if you believe that God is sending great change into your life. Your prayers have been heard, and better things are coming your way. Type Amen if you believe in God's change. Lord, we pray for those who are in pain, battling sickness, depression or anxiety. We ask for your healing miracles and comfort to be bestowed upon them. We also pray for those stuck in abusive relationships, that they may find the courage to leave, and for families facing financial struggles, may their every need be met. If you believe in the power of prayer, type Amen. Dear friends, there will be tough days, and you might get tired, but trust in God's ways. It is perfect, the one who can restore what is lacking and provide refuge when you need safety and protection. Your word in Exodus 15-2 says, The Lord is my strength and my defense. He has become my salvation. He is my God, and I will praise him, my Father's God, and I will exalt him. You are my strength even in the midst of storms, so I ask that you continue to be my shelter. Lord Jesus, be my safety net when I fall and my source of hope when I feel down or discouraged. If you believe that your suffering is over, type 222. Good morning, everyone. This is your Thursday morning reminder that no matter what challenges you face this week, God's got you. He's going to do amazing things in your life. Stay focused on finding the goodness in each moment today. And remember, don't worry about the people who try to hold you back. God knows how to move the wrong people out of your life and bring the right people in. Trust Him in His divine timing because a divine shift is coming your way. Type 1111 if you're ready for it. Hebrews 12-2 tells us to keep our focus on Jesus. He is the one who started our faith and will complete it. He endured the cross and the shame because of the joy set before him. Now he is seated at the right hand of God's throne. It's important for us to always keep our eyes fixed on Jesus. He is the only one deserving of our devotion, praise and adoration. He should be at the center and top of our priorities. In Matthew 16:24, Jesus said, but if anyone wants to follow him, they must deny themselves, take up their cross, and follow him. So ask yourself, if you truly desire to follow Jesus, are you willing to let go of temporary pleasures and take up your own cross to follow him? The cross represents pain and affliction, but it also symbolizes salvation, hope, love, and the power of Jesus' blood. It's a place where flesh dies, sin is defeated, and Christ triumphs. Let us pray, remembering that Matthew 21:22 says that whatever we ask in prayer, believing, we will receive. Thank God for His promises, His infinite wisdom and power. Be in communion with Him, knowing that only in His presence can your soul be revived and refreshed. Ask the Holy Spirit to help you live a life that brings glory to God. Remain humble and thankful for all He has done. Acknowledge that God is in control of every aspect of your life. Trust Him completely, even when you don't know what tomorrow holds. Submit to His will and acknowledge Him in all your ways. Give Him all the glory, for He will make your path straight. Praise the God of all creation, who never sleeps or slumbers. Ask Him to cleanse your heart from pride and remove every sinful behavior and desire. Pray for a humble spirit that obeys his word and will rejoice because Jesus has removed the power of sin from your life and clothed you in his love and grace. He is the everlasting Father who fights for you. In his presence, you can find calm and peace. Ask for the grace to overcome challenges and face them with boldness and confidence, knowing that the Lord will deliver and protect you. Take heart, for Jesus has overcome the world. As his child, you have already overcome through him. Continue to seek him, and he's going to do amazing things in your life. Stay focused on finding the goodness in each moment today, and remember, don't worry about the people who try to hold you back. 
God knows how to move the wrong people out of your life and bring the right people in. Trust Him in His divine timing because a divine shift is coming your way. Type 1111 if you're ready for it. Hebrews 12-2 tells us to keep our focus on Jesus. He is the one who started our faith and will complete it. He endured the cross and the shame because of the joy set before him. Now he is seated at the right hand of God's throne. It's important for us to always keep our eyes fixed on Jesus. He is the only one deserving of our devotion, praise and adoration. He should be at the center and top of our priorities. If you have any specific questions or need further assistance, feel free to ask.